Last night's debate may be the first time that millions of Americans have paid attention to the presidential campaign this year. And they heard a lot of claims that have been familiar refrains on the campaign trail, not all of them true. To help put it into context, we turn to Samantha Putterman of PolitiFact. Sam, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. So let's take some of these debate topics one by one, starting with the economy and inflation. Donald Trump said that President Biden caused inflation and that the cost of food doubled and tripled and quadrupled. While President Biden says that Trump's proposed 10% tariffs would cost the average American $2,500 a year. Help us understand what's true. Right. So on Trump's claim that Biden inherited inflation, that's mostly false. Uh, when Biden was inaugurated, inflation was about 1.4 percent, but that was shaped by the still weak economy during the pandemic. Um, as pandemic conditions improved, the economy accelerated, leading uh, to inflation peaking at 9 percent about a year and a half into his presidency. That was the highest in about four decades. But economists say that, you know, his relief plan did exasperate inflation, but he didn't single handedly cause it. And on Trump's claim that, you know, um, food costs are double, triple and quadruple, we found that to be false. Uh, food costs have risen faster under Biden, but the 21 percent increase is nowhere near um, what Trump claimed. That would need to be about 300 percent, which is, you know, 10 times larger than what Trump said. And Biden's claim about, you know, Trump's proposed tariffs costing Americans $2,500, we found that to be mostly true. Economists expect, expect that Trump's proposed 10 percent across the board tariff on foreign products will force consumers to pay more and right around that range um, between about $1,700 and $2,500. Got it. So let's turn to immigration. Donald Trump said that President Biden has allowed in 18 million people and that they're coming from, quote, prisons, jails and mental institutions. President Biden says there are 40 percent fewer people coming across the border illegally. What do we know about the situation on the southern border? Right. So Trump's claim about the uh, millions of people coming from in, uh, prisons and mental institutions, we found that to be our worst rating, pants on fire. Um, data shows that officials have arrested a little over 100,000 non-citizens with criminal convictions from 2021 to 2024. Not everyone was let in. Um, the data reflects the people that the, you know, the government knows about, it's, but it's inexhaustive. So immigration experts did say that despite these limitations, there's no evidence to support his statement. And also, uh, we rated false his statement that Biden has allowed in you know, 18 million people. Immigration officials have encountered immigrants illegally uh, around 9.7 million times under Biden's presidency, while accounting for gotaways, uh, that number rises to about 11.4 million. But encounters do not equal admissions. Um, encounters represent events, not people. So one person who tried to cross the border twice counts for two encounters. And a lot of these also led to expulsions. And on Biden, you know, he was more accurate on immigration. Um, his 40 percent claim uh, is mostly true. DHS announced that encounters dropped by 40 percent to fewer than 2,400 per day in the weeks after Biden announced his policy on June 4th. On abortion, Mr. Trump repeated a false claim that he's made before, that Democrats, in his words, will take the life of a child in the eighth month, the ninth month, and even after birth. Help us understand this, because willfully terminating the life of a newborn is illegal in every state. Right, right. So we did find this to be false. Most elected Democrats who have spoken publicly about this, you know, they've said that they support abortion under Roe v. Wade's standard, which provided access, you know, up to fetal viability, typically considered around 24 weeks of pregnancy. And many of these Democrats have also said that they support abortions past this point if the treating physician deems it necessary. So medical experts say situations resulting in fetal death in the third trimester are rare. It's less than 1% of abortions that occur after 21 weeks. And these cases typically involve fatal fetal anomalies or life-threatening emergencies is affecting the pregnant women. You know, the CNN moderators last night did not provide real-time fact-checking. The network said that they didn't view that as their role. Their role was to facilitate an exchange of ideas, and it was up to the candidates to challenge one another. That was an approach that both campaigns agreed to. What's the consequence when a torrent of lies and mistruths delivered with verve and vigor go unchallenged as they were last night? Yeah, um, I think that the consequences are, you know, quite high. This was on the the, the biggest political stage uh, thus far in this presidency. And of course, I would say that fact checking is important. Uh, I understand the moderators wanted to make sure that the candidates got their say in, you know, and to not appear like they were uh, unfairly interfering or favoring one side over the other. But as journalists, you know, it's also their job to hold powerful people accountable and check them, you know, when they are being inaccurate with the American people especially during a high stakes presidential election. I don't think they could have fact checked every false or misleading claim made last night, but they could have done their due diligence to correct 
you know, for the record, fragrantly false claims uh, made on incredibly important to topics like abortion, economy, and immigration. Uh, you know, the American people deserve to know when a presidential candidate is spreading falsehoods, you know, especially on issues they will be voting on. That is Samantha Putterman of PolitiFact. Sam, thanks so much. Thank you. And you can find more debate fact checks from PolitiFact on our website.